Uh, they beat us in every phase of the game tonight, or today, uh, this afternoon, um, and it's pretty obvious. I mean, give them a lot of credit. Um, but, you know, offensively, defensively, and, and in particular, special teams, uh, they made the plays when they needed to. Um, neither one of us, you know, I think could, could sustain much offensively, but the, the, they make one huge play, and, and we have some opportunities with the ball tipped in the air, and we just don't come down or make the play. And that makes it pretty, pretty even in, in some ways. And then I thought they dominated us special teams-wise. Their punt team flipped the field on every, every occasion, and then we had way too many penalties that really made it difficult on, on us offensively. Questions? Let's start with Steve. Just any initial update on Tanner? Or his... No, I, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't look good for for a little while. Um, you know, he 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 couldn't grip the ball, so we'll we'll have to make sure we find out what the, what the deal is tomorrow and see how long that uh, that may that may last. Jesse, with the offense was struggling even before Tanner got hurt, I know Iowa yeah. certainly has a very sound defense. But do you feel like your offense is still trying to find what their identity should be? No, I, I don't. I don't think they're trying to find what their identity be, it needs to be. I think that we're trying to find, you know, how it fits in the people that we have as much as anything. Um, but we, we got to do a better job. I, I told them in the in the locker room. I thought first and foremost they, you know, they did a better job coaching than than we did today. You know, and I'm the first one, right? I mean, um, you know, when you look at the whole field position battle and the things that you need to do to win a game like this, a rivalry game. That uh, I, I can honestly tell you, our guys respected the heck out of, prepared. Um, I thought as good as we have uh, at all this entire season. Um, but when it comes down to it, you know, we didn't get it done. On the left here, coach on the left. Luke, how would you evaluate how great Lock played today? I don't know. We'll go back and watch. Uh, you know, he's thrown in a really tough situation. Uh, it's not like, like you said before, it's not like we were moving the football and, and we had, didn't have anything really established, whether it was the run game or, or you know, making some plays on the outside. Um, it was a battle, hard fought, and you know, he gets thrown into a situation like that that uh, you know, makes it very, very difficult. And uh, you know, I thought they did a great job at pressuring and um, keeping us off balance. And uh, you know, I think we got to do a better job protection-wise to give our quarterbacks a better chance. Jeff, they did obviously a really good job defensively on third down. But were there some instances where your, your receivers didn't get to the sticks on their route, or is that just something you would I don't know. I mean, I, I think there, there's a there's a few of those those situations, um, which puts us in those tough tough calls there, um, and going for it. You know, kind of like the I know everybody will ask about the first series of the game, and we go for it and, and get stopped. And you know, had you known that it was going to be as tight as it was going to be, um, maybe you do things different. But the reality is. You kicking field goals are not going to win football games, and that's the difference in our game. Obviously, they got a safety and things like that, but they got the one big play that that leads to the touchdown, and, and that's as much as anything as a difference in the game. If we find a way to get him down at the ten yard line, whatever, who knows what happens? Like like last week, um, but I think there's a lot of things like that that whether it's first down, third down, um, whatever those situations are, you know, we got to we got to figure it out. Luke, when you said that you're still trying to find how your identity fits to your players, do you mean because of the injuries you've sustained, some of the things like that? Or? I think in some ways. I think the you know the the limitations we've had at the tight end position just because you know of injuries as well, and so I, I you know all those things fitting into what you're doing, um, and then you know I think that maybe they didn't recognize how stout this defense really was, um, you know, and and how much they can limit to you know, a lot of things that you do, and. So you give them a lot of credit. I mean, they lost two first-round draft picks from last year's defense, and you know I don't know that they probably taken much of a step backwards. Um, you know, and so there's a lot of credit to be given to them. Um, you know, that forced us into the situations we had tonight, especially on third down. Jeff, in the back, coach, did, did they feel like it was one of those days that uh, I mean, everything he did, as you continued to, to make some great plays, and all of a sudden things fell apart? Was it just? Like you're running through the mud all yeah, there, there was there was no flow of anything. It was really I mean, we knew you know things are hard to come by, but it, there was no flow of anything. Uh, if we did make a play, if we did make a first down, it, you know, it, all of a sudden you look back at it in your second and twelve. Um, you know, we, we think we moved the ball and we're going to play the battle of field position, and they punt the ball sixty five yards, and and you get a penalty on the on the play to put it back to the six yard line, like. Um, 
we were fighting uphill uh, in a lot of a lot of things all day. Um, but you know what? You, you got to make some of your own breaks. And the balls, the breaks that were out there, we didn't end up capitalizing on. Whether the ball was tipped in the air and things like that. And to me, that's where, you know, that's where, you know, I, I, it's hard. But, you know, you come in there and it's like, there's not a whole lot to say. Like, right? We, we got beaten every phase of the game. You know, they out physical us. They they outrushed us. They, you know, it's just it, all those things. And and I'm not saying that to the players. I'm saying that to myself. That. They were better prepared, and, and I thought we did a great job all week. Well, Luke, obviously you're confident in Braden. That's why you wanted him here, and I'll tell you what problem is a transfer. But how do you envision maybe altering the offense to some of the skill set that he has versus what Tanner brings? Uh, and we'll, we'll have to we'll have to figure that out based on you know what what the situation is with Tanner, and, and if it's going to be a longer situation, then um, you know we'll have to probably tailor a little bit, and then we'll have to create some competition as well. You know, I think that's the. That's the great thing about uh, you know having that room and, and having those guys, and um, so th- there's a lot of things we got to figure out. Like I said, it starts with where Tanner is and how long that might be um, to where we need to you know do a better job. Obviously, putting ourselves in some situations where third downs are much more manageable. I don't know how much Braylon's injury had to do with this, but there was two straight series in the first half where all passes. Do you think you got away from the running game a little too much? Yeah, maybe. Um, you know, I think that the, almost like we were lulled into some of those plays that we made throwing the football, and it looks like, you know, you got a chance to make some plays down the field, and and uh, and then yeah, that, then you're then you're sitting there with one one tailback because you know Braylon's inside and they're they're checking him out, and you know, so so you're you know you're in a little bit of a tougher situation trying to figure out how this is going to play out as we continue to move forward, and sometimes that puts you in that situation where all of a sudden you look back and. You've thrown the ball eight, eight straight times, and uh, I don't think that's good for any of us. All the way in the back. Coach, I, speaking about Braylon, I know this isn't the story of the game, but he did reach those 3,000 career rushing yards. What does it mean to work with a guy who's had a career like that? He, he's a phenomenal player. He's a phenomenal kid. Um, he's got so much more growth that he's going to be better and better and better. And He's one of those guys that we, we kind of came in at halftime and said, we're going to have to put a lot of things on your shoulders. And uh, to be honest with you, I, I thought – he ran as hard and, and as physical in that second half um, as I've ever seen him. And obviously it wasn't enough, and, and maybe we need to just flat out give it to him some more there in, in those situations. Um, but to be honest with you, he's one. He's a guy that showed me a little something out there today. Any further questions? You mentioned the offensive line giving the quarterback a little more time. Do you think it was some of what I was doing in terms of different pressures? Maybe they didn't expect, or was it just kind of winning some battles? I, yeah, I, I mean, I, I do think there was too many free runners. I mean, as like the safety, right? I mean, I, I don't know exactly what the, you know, what the protection was and what the situation was, but there's two free runners at the quarterback, and and uh, he's got nowhere to go. So it's easy to point a finger. It's easy to look at the quarterback and say throw it away, um, you know. And he's in a situation where he's trying to make some plays and. You know, we're down as it is. Um, but I think that that's where we've got to put the pressure on. You know, Braden's going to be, Braden's going to be in there. You know, there's going to have to be a little bit more put upon the, you know, the, the Bortz and the, and the Jack Nelsons and those guys up front that have got a lot of experience, um, you know, to, to, to take, a, take over for us a little more. Last one. Luke, you've been in this league a long time. I know it was a break in between, but you've seen Iowa play. They win games like this all the time. Is it, it's kind of frustrating, I'm sure, but it's somewhat amazing that they, just be like that and still yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, I said it before. I mean, they, they asked about the quarterback, and I said, well, he does what the Iowa quarterbacks do and what they need to do. And what is that? It, it could be anything, right? It, it could be anything on any given day. And that's where I think that you know, ultimately can look at it. They, they got a great culture of what it is that they do. Um, you know, they lost their you know, top player maybe on offense and Eric all there early on, um, you know, but they didn't change exactly what they were going to do and they, they stuck with it and you know they, they knew they were playing well defensively and they didn't have to put themselves in a lot of situations and take some chances and uh, that's where as a whole we've got to do a better job we talk about complimentary football and if we could put them in some situations where we'd have made them have to make some plays on offense I think we could uh, you know find ways to create some more things thanks coach thanks